is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials, Learn Psychology While You Sleep. Robert Sternberg in 1986 has formulated a triangular theory of love. According to this theory, love has three fundamental components, intimacy, passion, and decision or commitment. Let us review the three components of love. Intimacy. Intimacy is the emotional component of love. It includes our feelings of closeness or bondedness to another person. The feeling of intimacy usually involves a sense of mutual understanding with the loved one. A sense of sharing of one's self, intimate communication with the loved one, involving a sense of having the loved one hear and accept what is shared, and giving and receiving emotional support to and from the loved one. Intimacy, of course, is present in many relationships besides romantic ones. In this theory, intimacy is not defined as having sex, but rather the kind of emotional closeness involved in intimacy may be found between best friends and between parents and children, just as it is between lovers. Passion is the motivational component of love. It includes physical attraction and the drive for sexual expression. Physiological arousal is an important part of passion. Passion is the component that differentiates romantic love from other kinds of love, such as love of best friends or love between parents and children. Passion is generally the component of love that is faster to arouse, but in a course of a long-term relationship, it is also the component that fades most quickly. Intimacy and passion are often closely intertwined. In some cases, passion comes first. When a couple experience an initial powerful attraction to each other, an emotional intimacy may then follow. In other cases, people know each other only casually, but as emotional intimacy develops, passion follows. Of course, there are also cases where intimacy and passion are completely separate. For example, in cases of casual sex, passion is present, but intimacy is not. The third component is the cognitive component, decision or commitment. This component actually has two aspects. The short-term aspects is the decision that one loves another person. The long-term aspect is the commitment to maintain that relationship. All relationships have their ups and downs, their good times and their worst times. When the words in a marriage ceremony service ask whether you promise to love your spouse for better or for worse, the answer is, I do, is the promise of commitment. Sternberg calls his theory a triangular theory of love and uses an actual triangle to represent his theory. The top point of the triangle is intimacy. The left point is passion and the right point is decision or commitment. This triangle metaphor allows us to show how the two people in a couple can be well matched or mismatched in the love they feel towards each other. Sternberg also argues that each of the three components of love must be translated into action. The intimacy component is expressed in actions such as communicating personal feelings and information, which is self-disclosure, offering emotional and perhaps financial support, and expressing empathy for the other person. 
The passion component is expressed in actions such as kissing, touching, and lovemaking. The decision to commit component is demonstrated by actions such as saying, I love you, or getting married, and sticking with the relationship through times when it isn't particularly convenient. But is there any evidence for Sternberg's triangular theory of love? What kind of support is there for Sternberg's theory? Sternberg has developed a questionnaire, the Sternberg Triangular Love Scale, to measure the three components of his theory. Several studies have been done on the characteristics of the scale itself. The scale provides good measures of the components, especially of passion and commitment. Sternberg makes several predictions about how scores ought to change over time. One study recruited 204 adults ages 18 to 68. 65% were married. The average length of the relationship was 9.5 years. As predicted, commitment scores increased as relationships progressed from dating to marriage. A study of a sample of German adults assessed that relationship between the three components and sexual activity and satisfaction. The theory predicts that the amount of passion should be most closely related to sexual activity, but the results indicated that intimacy was most closely related to sexual behavior and sexual satisfaction. Qualitative research also provides support for this theory. In-depth interviews with eight heterosexual women focused on what they considered important and positive aspects of romantic love. The women's answers identified intimacy, passion, and commitment.